unified against the mastermind, Kokichi, the students must survive a class trial without knowing the murderer or the victim. An unpredictable trial begins. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. We about to do a new trial. Let's go and also a uh, real quick uh, the skill somebody oh my god I, I really should have had your name uh, or looked it up beforehand so um, I'll have a uh, subtitle here uh, thank you to this person for uh, clarifying this in the comments uh, abracadabra is really fucking broken um, so like it says after enough time the correct truth bullet will be shown uh, by after enough time they mean once you go through the text once. That's ridiculous. And I tend to do that to show off like everything they're saying during the argument and to give me time to like sort of think things through and possibly get Shuichi's little hint. But uh, yeah, that's, that's a little like too good of a skill and I definitely will not be uh, utilizing that. I want to have some, like, difficulty here. That's just a little too much. Any other skills here? I don't really go for the V-points like that. Um, that is good, but, eh. Oh, wow. Oh, but that's only for the first speaker, though. That's, eh, the uh, entire screen will light up more frequently. Honestly, this one I will go for. Uh, just just because. So yeah, that's enough skill manipulation for now. Let's check that there handbook. So we can go over them there truth bullets. There's actually not a lot, so this is going to be interesting. Victim's body was discovered in the hangar where the exit is stored. The victim was crushed by a hydraulic press. The remains cannot be identified. You can look at hair. Blood stain is smeared from the hangar's bathroom to the hydraulic press as though something was dragged. Hydraulic press controls are a short distance away from the device itself. Uh, two labels up or two buttons labeled up and down. Has a safety feature. Body was crushed by hydraulic press is unidentifiable. Yeah, that was blood stain, uh, blood stain, monocum file, trial press. Safety function. Uh, it's set to stop when it detects a living thing. Hatches electronic lock, two exiles at the scene of the crime, one was in the storage case with its cockpit closed, the other was in the middle, and the hatch to the cockpit was open. There's enough space in there for one person, there is an electronic lock on the hatch that only the model cubs can open. There is a window to the bathroom, uh, it's 8 inches wide, you can, I mean, too, too small for a person, but objects can fit through. Three arrows were found on the bathroom floor. All three of them have blood on the tips. Dissemble crossbow uh, from the research lab. It was found in the bathroom. It was stored in a large black case. It's complicated to assemble. It would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught how. Small empty bottle found in the corner of the bathroom. Uh, it is poison. It came from Shuichi's lab. Small puddle of blood in the middle of the hangar's bathroom. Smaller blood stains were found leading to the door out of the bathroom. Large black case that had the dissembled crossbow in it was found in there. Crossbow does not fit in the case unless it is disassembled. Kaito's coat was discovered sticking out of the hydraulic press. A hole can be seen in the sleeve. Hanger's front shutter, it is, pro well, yeah, wait. Yeah, okay, it's protected by an electric barrier. So when it approaches it, an alarm will sound. Alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. Control panel for the electric barrier is next to the shutter. Has marks on it as though we're struck by something sharp. Kibo. Noticed Himiko going to the Exazol hangar. She was carrying a black bag that she did not have when she left. Electro bomb. There are three of these. Uh, the effects last for two hours and covers an area about 50 yards. It disables like just electronic devices with electromagnetic waves and blah blah blah. Um, and each can only be used once. Kokichi had two. Maki had one. Use electro hammer. Found near the three Exazols in the uh, cyber courtyard. 
Electro hammers can disable any electronic device they're used on. It takes 24 hours to charge. And this is all protecting Monokuma. They were surrounding Monokuma. They were given commands to observe Monokuma's movements via the remote that Kokichi had. Poison. There are many poisons lined up on the shelves in the research lab. One of them, Strike 9, has less poison in it. Take some time for Strike 9 to fully take effect, but it's 100% fatal. Even a small amount can kill. Kokichi's clothes were stuffed in the toilet. In the bathroom. Small holes were found on the back and on one sleeve. Both holes had blood around them. No one has seen Kokichi during the entire investigation or up until the start of the class trial. I mean, for that matter, nobody's seen Kaito either, but okay. So yeah, them's the, the true bullets, and this be the beginning of the class trial. Let's go. I'm interested to see where this is going. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Wow, question mark over Kaito. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. Oh, look who's standing up for himself. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Somebody's not self-aware. Seriously? <laughs> what happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face, killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances, I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. I mean, it's already happened once. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry, the person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. Really? So it is just one victim. Well, that clarifies that. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks that Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Alright, what are we working with here? A lot of stuff, okay, cool. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for him. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! Let me last this. 
really good guy today. Kabing! If only mages could cast revive spells. <laughs> Dragon Quest reference. Uh, there's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim. Yeah, because we do have uh, like a little something that states or shows that Kokichi could have been the victim. His clothes inside. His bloody clothes. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. Oh crap! Wrong button. Ah, frick. Oh wow. That that was not good. Um, that was a big mistake. R one is focus. Also, you need to be really quick on that one. There we go. Didn't get the V point, but whatever. I'll take it. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Uh, is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe that Kaito is still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. The sleeve, because it has a hole. That's it! Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? Or that! Oh, because if they wanted to make it completely... Okay, that was either calculated or a mistake. If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. Oh, that's what he actually, yeah. Because, or there would at least be a hand on the ground unless they picked up the hand, or I, I don't know. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? Yeah, also, I don't think that's decent enough. Uh, uh, huh? But, yeah, um... Because Kaito never wore the... Yep. You can even see it in his little, like, uh, promo art there. He never really wore the coat normally. It was just sort of, like, draped over his shoulders. You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. Rude? If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Alright, well, it's getting real out here. The battle showdown. Let's go. What we got? What we working with? Okay, just give me all the truth the bullets, why don't you? Out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. 
so when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that it's not. She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaido is dead on that evidence. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never had um. his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already. Wow, I don't know what to present here, and I am pretty low on time. Okay, let me think this one through. In a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. He always dressed himself. They're odd. He never put his arm. Oh, because of the blood stain on the sleeve, that proves he was wearing it, or someone was wearing it. I'll cut through your words. Because there shouldn't be blood around the hole. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Huh. He actually did. That is... Why did I never pick up on that? Like, he just always had one sleeve in. Or one arm in. Who the hell you think you are? Oron from... Or Auron? 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 Damn, it's been forever since I heard his name mentioned. Uh, Oren, I think it was just pronounced Oren. From Final Fantasy X. The best character in that damn game. I don't say that as a slide on Final Fantasy X, but he was the best character. The press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Just like the code. <laughs> okay. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've already made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! What? What? An Exosol? Huh? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What? <gasps> what the fuck is going on? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? What? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. What? <laughs> That's 
That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Also, I need to address something that's going on with my TV right now. N nothing major, just something getting in the way of the screen. And back, still with no fucking clue what's going on. Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! What? What? Huh? What? <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kokichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. <laughs> what is happening? Wow, that's old. How old are you? <laughs> I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera! It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. W what did you say? Alrighty then! Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma! Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exosol, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor. Are we looking at a Mechamaru situation where the consciousness was loaded up into a Exosol? I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. And played the tape for us. Well, damn. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible. Why would something like this? I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Why are you silent? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% Real. I am combing through this text with a fine tooth comb. Let me just make sure of one thing. Monokuma specified inside the academy. There's still the dorms. There's still the off-site uh, labs in Miu's lab and Kibo's lab. 
and it wasn't connected to any computer. You don't have to connect the camera itself. You could just take out the SD card. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Murder video has been recorded in the monopad. Something's off. Something's off here. Was that... Was that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. I can't believe he died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. <laughs> what? I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... <sighs> Why? Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He just told us all that he was the mastermind, that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial! I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh man, I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the Mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think... Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of 
us. That's not possible. No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yep, Burns, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. What? I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? What the fuck is happening in this trial? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi, though. Then the culprit is... Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Kokichiko Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? There's no, no because of the safety the feature. We all saw that footage Meaning he was already dead before he... To death. ...was even That's on the press. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. A safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means, it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? Oh, fuck. I think I might have... Oh, man. But then that would be too easy, and then that would leave other... other things at work that wouldn't matter or wouldn't make much sense as evidence. But... Oh, and yeah, that wouldn't make sense for Himiko. But I was about to say, what if they laced the crossbow arrows with the poison? But that, that wouldn't explain why Himiko had it. I was going to say, what if it was Maki, but... Or did Kaito ask for all of that? I, I Okay, I, I don't know. I thought I was on to something there. I thought I was. 
But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb. Another thing that's crossing my mind is what if Kaito died by natural causes? He was dying. So then like he perished on his own. Then Kokichi's like, wait, I can use this to fuck with them. And then I, I don't know. No. I don't think Gokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro- No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. Found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. The swipe blood pattern. This is it! There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests a cause of death. This better freaking count because it's real tiny. There! The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. Potentially. That's if it wasn't a death by natural causes. No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day curse. Okay, first of all, that is a fucking evil curse that I feel I've been hit with because I've just based on my luck with Steam sales and whatnot. But besides that, Himiko? Why did you straight up go to weapon? Nobody said that shit. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaido's sleep. Did he say weapon? Because... Yeah, he just said a small hole has something to, like is key to the cause of death. He's like, what? There's no way uh, that hole has anything to do with a weapon. Like, he didn't say that. It could have just been like, oh, that hole was caused by like it getting snagged or like something short circuited, burned through it. But she's like, no, it, it didn't have anything to do with a weapon. What are you talking about? But, but Baka. All right. A uh, weapon that left that small hole in Kaido's sleeve. It was an arrow. The arrow's in the bathroom. Wait, what? Damn it! No, that's what? There's. Oh my god, are we being specific here? This is it. Fuck you. That should have been. Okay, no. The weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. I'm legitimately annoyed by this one. That should have been either or. It should have been either or. Like, that should have sufficed. Because I think there was in, like, a trial in Danganronpa 1 where there's, like, two possible answers to, like, this one thing. 
and the game actually allowed you to choose one or the other. That should have been the case here. I'm, I'm sorry. Come on. They specifically asked. Though I guess if we want to be completely literal, the weapon is the crossbow, but the, I'm, I'm splitting hairs here, but I'm, I'm annoyed by that one. A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. No, the crossbow's arrow. Oh, wait, he, he said crossbow's arrow. I'm an idiot, okay? I'm sorry. I was born stupid. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. What the fuck is going on, Amiko? Seriously, Amiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Okay, seriously, are you Makoto? Because th this is like... You're either Makoto or Nagito at this point, because you I, I, I don't know. Hope? Despair? And Exazal Kokichi is responding weirdly to certain words. Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the hangar, and Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Kaito would have been in there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. Yeah, because mystery, right, guys? there is a window. Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the Kaito. Uh, I don't want to go for that viewpoint. I'll just go for that. That's wrong. Even without going in the hangar. It was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Everybody is acting weird, and I'm just confused. Do detectives always accuse people? Even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Okay, you're turning into Nagito. Now, now. 
let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? Oh my god. <laughs> what has happened to Himiko over the course of this game? See? Now that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. <laughs> well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. a suspect. Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Oh my god. Maybe I am the culprit. The culprit. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright. I see we're gonna have to use Kibo's account here more than likely. Called it! Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. If I you were the crime scene, what do you mean? You can explain the crossbow. There's a good magic source around there. Around there. So I went then who acts the number one suspect? Kokichi, I'm the one who shot Kaito. We should look at the inconsistencies in her testimony. There's a lie there somewhere. Yep. The wow, they flat out saying like, yeah, um. She said something that's incorrect. Then explain the crossbow. There's a good so we're just gonna go ahead because he's gonna be yelling. There we go. I heard it. Kibo said she was carrying something. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Th no, that was probably Sumugi Cosplay! Me. She's taller than you by a wide margin. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko. This is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. <laughs> what? Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh-oh. No, 
Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. This fucking asshole! That is true, but we, uh, can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. Uh, to hit Kaido with the crossbow, you have to be fairly good with it. Could Himiko have done this? That's the question. I mean, there were arrows with blood on them, though. Hmm. Complicated to assemble. Would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught. Another true statement. And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact, Amundo! Why does this all sound so fishy? Um. I'll give this a shot. Yeah, I totally. Not on that. We're, we're gonna go for some consent here. Damn. Okay. Because she never... Like, she wasn't there during Maki's little tutorial. So she wouldn't have known how to... Are you freaking Siri? What is it? Has to be that one with how hard it is to hit. Like, that has to be a dead giveaway. Thank you. Okay, just hit it on the part that isn't moving. Hit on his little axis. Axes. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Or pivot point if you want to be a little more precise. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me, so I lied. Wait, she did teach? Wait, what? I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Exactly, like not not from him. I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. Okay. See? I told you! It's 
just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! She's still acting weird as hell. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Then why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was... Was it Kaito? Because he did know how to assemble it. So was there a struggle? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. <laughs> but I like you. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. But to think that Kaito asked Kimiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. It's a promise. You guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. Oh my god. This is way beyond bullying a great school crush. <laughs> this is crazy. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, <laughs> and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. We didn't need the little extra information there. Um, that one part was, a. Uh... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Probably for the best. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No. He said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Well, that there's three arrows with blood on them? Okay, no. Um, yeah, that is true. That is true. That was just me, like, trying to go for the arrows. Like, um... And we can't use the holes in Kokichi's coat, so we can only use the hole in Kaito's coat oh wait that was the question i thought it was wait oh 
Okay, I, I was just misreading that then. So they're trying to say, like, how do we know that Kaito used it specifically? So, yeah, we do have to use the holes in uh, Kokichi's clothes. This is it. I just, I completely misread that. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? I thought it was asking how do we know it was shot multiple times, but I, I guess that would be too easy. I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow. But it doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. In the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? Okay, if Monokuma speaks up, that's not good. <laughs> what? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? We sure did. Oh. I have no clue how this would happen, but is Kibo controlling them? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Oh my fucking god. It what? Ha, because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. What? But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. This shit is insane. This time for real. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? 
and explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaito is alive after all. What is... No. Maybe it's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? But then here's my thing. It can't be that both of them died and were crushed by the press. I mean, I guess it could, but wrong button there. Cause I think I was checking for this too. The Monokuma file speaks in the singular. Like, yeah, they have their remains, but that's a singular there. To say the victim's body was discovered. The victim was crushed by hydraulic press, not victims. Furthermore, there was only one body discovery announcement. And they have played like two in a row before when two bodies are found at the same time by three or more people. That happened in the uh, second game where Ibuki and uh, Hiyoko were found by uh, uh, Hajime, Chiaki, Fuyuhiko, and Mikan when they were all there together. So it is one person, but I just have no clue. Unless the person is unconscious in the Exazol, and that's Monokuma just fucking with them? I don't know. What story does the evidence tell? Does the story end with Kaito or, Ko or Kokichi being the victim? Need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question, and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victims go Kichi. Ah, shit. What's the evidence we have now shows that Kaido is the victim? So I guess Maki is right. I was kind of like looking for a way out too. Just thinking, like, she's so sure it can't be correct, so. For a minute there, I thought the game was going to, like, have silence again. It be like, you're wrong. We don't know who it was. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you, bitch. Hope you had enough hearts to take this, but I'm trying. I really am. I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. And I guess the video footage does verify that. But something still just seems wrong here. What's the evidence we have points to Kaito? Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. Not to mention that was throwing me off too. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never Okay, wait, what? <laughs> good, good. This is already more entertaining. Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its what? very own more phenomenal trial grounds. All right, let's give it everything we've got. Okay, um... Well, this is going to be interesting. But then if, it, if Kaito is dead, then it probably wasn't Kokichi that killed him. I'm actually a little disappointed that Exosol Kaito isn't here. That Kaito is inside the Exosol. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind, but... Why are you 
so opposed to Kaito being alive. Ooh, this one is gonna be a little tough. I believe that Kaito was alive too. But that video is definitive. We have nothing to counter it. Damn that Exosol. Why would he confuse us like this? I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I've got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. Cool. Got that one right. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Lucky! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Lucky! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi. Shoot. I've got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind, but... Lucky! The Mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to... I've got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Holy shit, I got that on one fucking shot. Shuichi and Maki versus the world. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. Agreed. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! What is going on with you? Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! I have no clue where this one's going. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how could they both shoot each other? That's what I'm going to... My wound is still aching something fierce. That's really what I present the three arrows on. That of all things. Okay, what? What was that just now? I feel like that goes against the information I have. When the crossbow fired. Really? Wait. He probably fired the first so fire there's the only one arrow was when in the case? He disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow and returned fire. Why would she stay that though? I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. 
I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still. I'm just research. shooting these like for the achievement yeah. in. Only one. No, no, not like this. Thank you. Okay. That's wrong. But yeah, for the achievement and for more time. Wait, Miko. What do you mean one arrow? Mm -hmm. Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so. What? Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got that wrong. Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the back room, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said that she only brought one. What is going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? It could have happened. Think. I need to think. This is crazy. Crazy, yo. Oh, they moving. And I'm very good at getting them. I'm doing an amazing job here. Trying to get them both, but all right, fine. Oh my god, these cars are at, like, the worst possible spot. How many arrows did Himiko give Kaito? One. Well, we can only go based on what she said. Okay. All right, this is getting a little ridiculous. Wow, okay, um, the object is to get letters, not to avoid them completely. I might have missed the memo there. That was a Monokuma that I passed. God dang it, Bobby. Do these actually get closer to each other or was that just my mind playing tricks on me? Missed a Monokuma. I'm so disappointed in myself. Okay. I guess I just need to slow down a little. Epic save. Were all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? No. Couldn't have been. Well, I'm gonna say no on this. So that means someone else shot arrows. And the only other person that could have been, I mean, it wasn't Shuichi unless like they're doing another uh, unreliable narrator thing, but I don't think they're going to do that twice in one uh, 
game. So the only other person it could have been is Maki. And that would explain why she's so she was so sure that Kaito died. She accidentally shot Kaito. Maybe? Can I get one of these? Thank you. All right. Oh, no. Get out of the passing lane. All right. Oh, my God. These letters. These letters. There we go. Who brought the two arrows? Are we... What? Did Kaido already have them on him? Himiko, Kokichi... No, a third party. Technically, Kokichi falls in the third party, but that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party. A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? Oh, we're using Kokichi as the second party here. Okay, fair enough. That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way. Some way that we haven't figured out yet. Overlooking something. Think. Think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Or we're going with the enter the hangar part? I was thinking they could have like waited for Kokichi to walk in and try to shoot through the window. W-I-N-D-O-W. -W, I'm not seeing any W's here. What did the third party use to enter the hangar? Electro bomb definitely won't fit. What the fuck? Um. Okay, it won't start with an S. Exal of uh, duh, of course. Yeah, because I I was even bringing that up. Come on, really, where's an I? Oh, there it is. There's an L. All right. That's it. The Exosol. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. Because I forgot, Kibo also said he saw one break rank. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosol. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, 
I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? But how would they get out if the exosol was still in there? It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. I'm sorry, what? Nipples too! <laughs> anyway, this third party commandeered an exosol and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? Someone was piloting the exosol. They could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. So getting inside one would have been impossible. You're right! It's impossible! It's not impossible. There is one way to stop an exosol. I have to show them. If oh, what do I present this on? They could have used it to enter the room. That's not possible. I'm gonna present this on Kibo's statement. Do we even know how to get inside an exosol? But let me just make sure of something. If a single use on an exosol will completely drain an electro hammer. Ooh, this could be presented on two potential things here. I was controlling them Oh, did, did I finally get that? So I can stop doing this? Okay. Yesterday, all the all right. Well, there we go. That's wrong. I can stop using the silencer now. Yay! Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? The identity of the third party. Yeah, there's only one person, like one person who knew how to assemble the crossbow. And the only person who was missing their electro hammer. 
The Electro Hammer gives us a clue. I saw four exit stalls at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaito. This morning when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. The culprit must have used the Electro Hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that. It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exazol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot, got it? The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Maki, where's your Electro Hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. This is much better. Knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosaw with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill your logic. Uh-oh. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes, I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol. And then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! Alright, another rebuttal showdown. You're right. I used the Electro Hammer. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. It's no use. She's not listening to me at all. But I can't back down here. You're right. I used the Electro Hammer. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Holy shit, this one is tough. I don't want to think that Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her. The way she's scrambling to defend herself. The arrows left holes in her clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. I'll cut through your words! Wow, I actually got the V thing without trying, but yeah, poison could have been what killed him. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit, if it were poisoned. Oh! So my 
hypothesis from earlier that they were laced with poison. But there was a bottle found. There were two bottles. Because, th th no, the, the bottle in his lab was like half full, or, well, had signs of being used, but there was also a bottle in the lab. Or not in the lab, in the bathroom. Poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? But then that means Kokichi would have died. What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Unless Kaito was trying to shield Kokichi? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? Th there's no way she is! As Why would she kill Kaito? No, she thinks she killed Kaito. So then the only way that she'll be able to get Kokichi is to get away scot-free. Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... The sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be... Okay, well then, the only other option is all of us. Because that was by me thinking like she like killed him then placed the blame on Kokichi, but alright, fine. All of us. That's it. They don't heal you for shit. She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. The only other thing I can think of is that the other bottle was the antidote. But that mischievous plan was ruined all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi. 
You're so persistent. Were you always like that? You think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. Nah, I'd say it was Kaede. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Don't just start narrating things, you're ruining the mood! <laughs> well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. What is going on? Um, well, that's gonna be it for today. Um... <laughs> Next time we wrap up the trial, I still don't quite know what's happening, but it is heating up. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. The signs are pointing to Maki right now, but I don't know if that's the truth. Like, if she... I, I'm thinking she believes she killed Kaito, but didn't really. It had, I'm, I'm thinking it, he died of natural causes before like the injuries or whatever got him or he tried to shield Kirk or something was happening. I don't know, but, um, yeah. See y'all next time for some more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Goodbye. Dang, 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 dang.